Hello, my friends. Boomy here once again with another video for you, my SOTOR brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today in a galaxy far, far, far away? If this is your first time on the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your SOTOR fun news, guides, and updates right here, right now. And it, this is a busy place. Fleet seems to be busy. Um, there's Darth Ratatataki. Big shout out to you, my friend, and to the other people who have said hello to me the moment I popped on. So, I might have to move spaces. I don't know. Friends, it's been some time. Okay, it's only been four days. But still, in my world as a content creator, four days is like four years when we haven't put something out. And uh, just because I was sick and all that wonderful real life jazz. But I am back. Here we go. We got some big news for you guys about how much EA actually loves SOTOR. And then I got questions about that <laughs> afterwards. Uh, but yeah, EA had an earnings call. And uh, they talked about, you know, their earnings uh, within the call and how many billions of dollars they have made off the people. Yes. Yes, Smithers. Yes. Uh, they did. They made they made a lot of money, uh, which is totally fine. I don't care. Hey, as long as you keep pumping out good stuff, I honestly don't care how much money you make. You're not going to get an argument from me on that one. Uh, but yeah, they went through. So, hey, Apex Legends, my brothers and sisters there, 70 million. You hit 70 million. That's awesome. But my SOTOR brothers and sisters are like, um, excuse me, what's the big news, yo? So the big news is thus. Uh, CFO Blake Jongensen said publisher Electronic Arts announced on an earnings call that the Old Republic is now... First of all, they mentioned us, so I'd like to thank them for that. The Old Republic is now closing in on $1 billion in lifetime revenue. That's since, what, 2011? So, eight years? So, that's, that's not horrible. Believe it or not, we are close to $1 billion on Star Wars The Old Republic revenue from the start of its history, EA CFO Blake Jungerson said. So, it's a business that just keeps on going. We like those types of businesses. You know, to be honest, Jake, can I call you Jake? Are we around that level yet? I do too. I personally like a business that will, you know, it's nice and steady and will continue to grow and fill my pockets. I have to say I am. But friends, that is crazy. So a lot of people keep going like, Star Wars is dying. It's dead. I wah, Keyboard warriors. They, they're in there. You see them in fleet. They're there all over the place. Like, Star Wars, like, I thought this game died at like 3.0 or something. Yeah. It didn't, and it's going on. We have a brand new expansion. Uh, expansion light, but we have a brand new expansion nonetheless. Uh, it's there, and now we know that it's it's profitable. Now, I've always suspected it's profitable because EA is not going to keep an IP that isn't profitable. It's just not to are not going to and a, and a smart business um is not going to keep something that isn't profitable you wouldn't do that in any business sense at all well unless you're the government and then that's just different uh yeah but still no in business if you have uh, a product out there like an ip like this one star wars the old republic and if it's not making money you pull the plug and you put something in its place that is actually going to generate revenue for you that's what you want in business you want something to make money and have revenue coming in which is what sotor is doing and that is great news and hopefully they'll funnel some money um back into <laughs> the coffers of SOTOR, but that's not really EA, as I have come to find out and learn, my friends. EA, uh, they're pretty much, they kind of sit back and just let things happen, right? SOTOR's making money, they're just, they're not going to touch it too much. Bioware, however, that's the one. You want to talk about marketing and how there's like a big lack of marketing uh, for SOTOR out there in the general public? Bioware is the one you need to point the finger at. And so, as I have been um, advised to do, and I advise you to do, if you have great things to say about SOTOR, if you think SOTOR needs to have better marketing to it, make sure you put, you let Bioware know, and, you know, the more they know, the more they're like, okay, maybe people, like, really do like this game. I mean, the game brought in over almost a billion dollars in eight years. True, it's not World of Warcraft money, but that's tomatoes and tom and oranges on that one. But still, it's a profitable game. You would, and it's freaking Star Wars, and you would think that this would be a smart idea to do, especially since they are Disney in all their greatness. Uh, is thinking about toying with the Old Republic 
for um, movie ideas. Oh, please don't screw it up. Please don't screw it up. But, uh, but anyways, talk about a wealth of information and lore and canon and i know it's not canon officially but we'll argue later uh the code through but sotor star wars the old republic the old republic is so rich in history and rich in story that i i just can't everyone's lining up why is everyone lining up right now i don't know what's happening whatever but you know what i'm saying my friends it is this they they need they should they need to market this even better and what better way now that they know there's, there's a billion dollar maker and uh yeah there's that so anyways my friends i wanted to share that information with you let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because i do read all your thoughts right there and then and make sure you hit that like button it is very important for you to do so especially for smaller content creators since YouTube's algorithm seems to cater right now. The bigger boys, I'm talking like corporate boys. So the more likes, shares, and comments we get, the faster we get to the head of the line. That's right. Make sure you hit that bell notification button because I do put out videos quite often. So go ahead and hit that button. And if you really like what you see here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come part of the family here at Boomy Nation, the freak show of YouTube, the black sheep of gaming and my friends as always remember to be kind it's about community and we will see you later good day